go to your room. I told her, um, come upstairs. And I'm like, bruh, you've lost your fucking mind. He's in the room playing NBA young boy. <laughs> yeah. He know not to play that too loud. He know not to play that too damn loud. He's definitely being territorial. And I don't know, I don't know what the fuck this is. And I knew it. It's like I call it every time. I said, you know, I don't think he's going to be good with kids. Then he try to chump on all the kids. And then, you know, the world try to say, you know, I think your dog is aggressive like other dogs, like other dog moms. Or people like dog people try to say my dog is aggressive. And he's, um, he's... No, definitely aggressive. G is not nice. G is not fucking nice. He has to go. He has to go. Because I am not about to live in my life. I'm not about to live my life with my dog. Potentially, he's just going to fucking attack me. No. Fuck you, nigga. Like, I give you wet food, nigga. I give you wet food. I give you human food, nigga. Like, fuck you. Fuck out of here. Akita's are hella aggressive. My friend's dog is one, and he fucked up her brother for no reason. Oh, my God. It's like... Nah, this nigga gotta go. He gotta go. No, I'm just... I don't have no... I just don't have nobody in my life. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. He gotta go. To the pound. No, no. No, because he really thinks he's running shit. Fuck that nigga. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe he's an outside dog, but it's like, what does that mean? Like, he digs holes. Like, I feel like once I get a fence, he's going to be digging a hole outside of that fence. Like, mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot fucking believe that. Get a cat. He's going to eat the cat. He, oh, my Lord. You wouldn't get rid of your dog. No, I don't think you understand. I want to get rid of him. That was the craziest fucking thing. What I saw today was the icing on the cake. We've been doing so good. Everything's been great. But this was literally for no reason. He snapped at two people today. Like, no. No. You can put him on a chain. What the hell? This is not. What is this? What do you think this is? We're all. No. I'm not going to put him on a chain. What's that damn movie where they chain the dog? All the crap chain movies. No. How old is he? He's two. He needs a trainer? Sage him? Nah, bruh. Is deeper than sage. That nigga, what? Hell no. Man, when I came into the room, because I wanted him to go in a cage, this nigga was still looking at me like he's going to fuck my ass up. I'm talking about he's leaning, like he's slouching, like ready to pounce. I said, oh, you got me fucked up. You a whole lion now. Fuck out of here. Whoop his ass. He's a fucking polar bear. You try whooping a fucking polar bear. Like, fuck out of here. No, you can't whoop his ass. This is bullshit, okay? He's... Invest in a shot collar. Trust me, you won't have to use it long, and it's not as abusive as hitting. Shot collar? No, that is inhumane. He, somebody else is going to have to have... I, I cannot fuck with this nigga the same. This nigga turned on me. No. Hell no. I, like, I want to cry. Let that dog go. What's the movie with the killer dog? Exactly. No. He got to go. Somebody. Mm -mm. No. Hell no. Fuck this nigga. Mm -mm. Hell no. Try to eat my family. Try to eat my friend's kids. Now you try to eat my sister. And then you try to eat me? Fuck you, nigga. No. Hell no. Mm-mm.
just set a barrier for him to stay in when he bad. Yeah, it's his cage. And his cage, like, I, I never use it. I never use it. Only when he's bad. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I just don't. You know, the cage is supposed to be a place, like, they feel safe to go into. But, no, he never liked his cage ever since he was little. And, like, so, mm -mm. you got to train him early or it's wake. I did train him. Maybe he is depressed. I mean, I have no noticed a pattern. He just doesn't like anyone. I'm no I feel like that's what it is. He don't like anybody. He doesn't like anyone but me. But then he has his mo like he he likes people when he first meets them. He's like really excited and then if they're not gone right away, he's just like, he's not like, why the fuck are you still here? But like, that's when the unpredictableness kicks in. So I think that's what it is. Like maybe perhaps with my sister, it was just like, why are you taking me outside? Like she's supposed to take me outside. He got to have dominance and structure. That breed can be aggressive. You have to socialize him, too. He's been socialized. These niggas just don't like people no more. He's beyond socialized. He don't like people no more. He don't like dogs. He's definitely a guard dog, but it's the weirdest guard dog because it's like, okay, you you bark you bark is when, when somebody comes to the door, but as soon as they come to the door... You you jumping on them and licking them. So what the fuck, nigga? Like, what, what? What, what? In the butt. I said, what, what? In the butt. You are evil, Augmayor. Maybe you need someone to play with. Get a cat. You are evil. I am not. I would never kill a cat. My dog has incredible prey drive. I wish, I wish there was a way where he could just chase animals all day. That would be his dream life. COVID is getting to him. He says six feet. Bark, bark. I can't fucking believe it. I can't. No, nah, with dogs like that, you have to be stern and drop your voice through your octaves. <laughs> try to drop my voice. I was reading that. Yeah. yeah. I got so mad. He, this nigga know I was mad at him. Who he know I was mad? I was cursing him out. I said, uh oh, -uh, nigga. They're <laughs> going in on this motherfucker. I went in. You would think I was talking to somebody. I having a whole conversation. You really? To me? me Caesar I don't understand G because he could be the sweetest puppy and that shit was so uncalled for like niggas was about to take your ass outside are you kidding me are you kidding me No, I'm not hiding from him. <laughs> I'm in the family room. This nigga is, he is in the back room. It is a back, back, back room. I was trying to get him in his cage so he could just be in there. And he didn't want to get in there, of course. And I wasn't going to try to force him in there. That is a big ass fucking dog. I'm not playing with this fucking big ass. I am not in the mood to fight no goddamn Twilight. Fucking werewolf ass, fever of swamp ass, fucking Kuju ass, Kujo ass. I feel you on that. I feel you. I usually don't be scared of him, but this was a lot. Is G a nigga or a white man? He's both. I'm confused because he sounds black but privileged at the same time. Exactly. 
Well, black man, I feel. Oh, black man. No, he's white. He's white man. He's maybe he's biracial. I'm not sure. You sound tired, ma'am. Get off live. Sh- shush, okay? I, I, mean, I am tired, and I will get off live after I talk to somebody about this. Because I don't know what to do right now. But all I know is I was completely sure with putting him in the pound. But at this point, I do not. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Keep loving him until he fucking obliterates me in my sleep so he can so I can wake up to my whole fucking throat discombobulated. Is that the right word for that? Or disfigured? Is that what the fuck I'm gonna do? Just sit around and wait for my entire fucking organs to be completely annihilated, eradicated? Butchered by his goddamn motherfucking giant alien versus predator fucking jaws by the jaws of life by his fucking shark jaws. Fuck out of here, okay? You're laughing, Divine. You're laughing. Do you do you understand what this dog is? He's not a puppy. He's not, he's not your little, oh my God, I bought a dog and it's a fucking squirrel. No, he's not a squirrel. This, like I said before, is a fucking polar bear. Okay, he's a fucking polar bear. He deserves to live outside in fucking Alaska, some Alaskan island, terrorizing some goddamn motherfucking sea lions. That's what the fuck he needs to be doing. you take us to see him? Do you really want to see him? Assert your dominance? I did. I yelled at him and I said, go to your room. Trust me, I asserted my fucking dominance. I asserted my damn dominance. What do you mean? What was I supposed to do? You think, wait, what do you guys mean by that? (laughs) Like, I'm supposed to walk up to him with my arms out like, oh, come here, baby. Fuck you. That's what I'm supposed to do? No, I'm not going to, with my, like, freaking hands stretched to the father. I'm not going to fucking do that and get my hands chomped. No. Can you be my sister wife? Absolutely not. Dogs don't respond well to yelling. Well, you know what? Well, you know what? Well, you know what? I don't respond well to my life being threatened. You have to assert, you have, you have to always assert your dominance. You can't be scared or soft with him. I'm never soft with him. I'm never scared of him. If I want something from him, I'm like, drop it. And I take it. Like, there is not like a, I don't feel like I can't touch his food or anything. I don't try to like, be all in his face when he's eating or like, you know, like, I'll be like, wait, G, I got to get something up the food. He listens. We have an understanding. We have a respect. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even like a, like I'm afraid. But yes, if he's growling at me like that, like, what am I supposed to do? How was he before you gave him back to your ex? He's definitely gotten more aggressive since then. That's a fact. That is definitely a fact. I don't know. And, and, I, and I honestly, I don't know what could have happened. But I do know he's probably just gotten older. He's probably just gotten older. I don't know. Uh, they say, too, is when Akita start that's when they start showing their ass but I've before before, last year I mean I just remember walking him and he tried to he tried to bite a husky for no reason they they saw each other they were happy and then the the husky tried to sniff him and then all of a sudden he snapped at him I said I don't know why I don't know why he did that he just be just doing that
I don't want to give my dog alcohol. You need to talk to somebody, homeboy. Some, something sound fishy here. He needs CBD. He's going through puberty. Is he in training? No, because there is no training here. I try to do a training with this person, and then this lady told me things that I need to do on my own, and I'm just like, I don't got time to do this shit on my own. Okay? I don't got time to do this shit on my own, so I'm not going to do it. I need somebody to take him and train him and bring him back. You still got his balls? No, I don't got them anymore. The doctor took him. Do you think he has anxiety? Sorry, I burped. Benadryl? Why are y'all trying to make me drug my dog? Give him a sip. You are disgusting. I would never drug my dog. REC, you aren't committed to taking care of him on your own. Trying. Trying. So bad. I feel like, um, I feel like, I feel like it's like losing Isaiah. That's what it feels like, losing Isaiah. And I feel like I'm Holly and bitch, you wish you were Holly. I do. I feel like I'm Holly and he just wants to go back to his white mother. He just wants to go back to He just wants to go back to the white woman because the white woman just understood his everything. He, all of his greatest desires within. Oh Lord. Someone said he's fighting demons. He needs therapy. He needs therapy, I think. Oh, I'm definitely genuinely stress-based, Cheryl. I really am. I know it's funny, but I'm literally tearing up. I'm really stressed because I'm like, I will not raise, I cannot keep a dog that's going to kill me. I don't, this is a, the most stupid way to die. Like, I see shit like that all the time. Like, I'm not... I hear stories like, no, like you are not going to maul everyone in my life. Like you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You're not going to maul me and you're not going to maul my friends or family or their kids. Like, what the fuck? Maybe he thinks he's white. Yeah, he needs a cigarette. He's too young to smoke. Mm. Oh, wait, what happened with Galactus? Oh, he's a killer, and I just I gotta give him away. Don't they have Ritalin for dog? Ritalin? Oh, Ritalin, Ritalin. I'm not gonna put him on anxiety meds, but he does need a therapist. Because maybe she could find out what's wrong with him and maybe uncover some traumas he may have. When you say mall, it sounds so much more devastating. <laughs> it's a Akita with a humongous mouth. Is this a new problem? Did he just start doing it? He's getting worse. Yeah, like he tried, he snapped at two people today. My friend and my sister. And all my sister was trying to do was put on his fucking harness. Which she has done before and walked him and it's never been an issue. I mean, he doesn't act like he he doesn't, well, I don't think he fucks with anyone. I think he does for a little bit, and then he's just like, okay, when is everybody leaving your, our house? <laughs> or really, my house? Like, when is everyone leaving my house? Mm. I don't know. But I send my prayers for G. Today wasn't the day for the harness. It wasn't his horoscope. <laughs> he 
You and G both need an edible. Yeah. I really could use, like, a lot of weed right now. Make sure he's not sick. I feel you. I was reading that, and I, that's the only thing that makes me feel bad about feeling like I don't, I can't do this anymore. But I always feel like that when, not always, like, it's, it's really, like, every two months. I'm like, I can't, I cannot. Because it's like, 